Hello guys, welcome back. This is the 18th video in the 30 days of Databricks series. I have already covered 17 videos and now it is time to upgrade our Databricks community edition. So what we need to do first is there are two things that goes into parallel. We need to choose one of the cloud provider, either AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform. I have already created one account in AWS. So I'm going to walk you through how you can upgrade using AWS. Because if you upgrade to the free trial version also, you need to choose at least one of the cloud providers. And then what next we need to do is we need to upgrade from the existing cloud provider. What you can do first is if you go to this, let's copy the link first. Let me open in the incognito window. So control V. The first thing you need to do is create the account in AWS. I have already created, so I'm not going to go through this, but if you go and click this create an AWS account, there are some of the practicalities. You need to provide the user email address and account name and so on. And in the next step, it will ask you for your credit card and some other informations. Once you create the account, what I highly recommend you to do is enable the two-factor authentication. That is crucial because just to keep your AWS account safe. And next one is create the budget that you don't go, you don't cross the limit. You can keep the budget in AWS because when you use the free trial of Databricks also, you will be charged in the cloud provider because part is not charged, but the cloud provider. So you need to be careful on that. So this is my AWS account I have already created. So just to create the budget, you can just go in the search icon here. Once you create the account, AWS budget, just search here, then you can create the budget out of it. And to create the multi-factor authentication, if you go on the top here, it will display your name here. Just go in here and then there is the security credentials. If you go inside there, you can enable the multi-factor authentication. Once you are completed with these steps, now we can go to the Databricks part. This is the Databricks account that I am using currently. And it says here you are using the Databricks Community Edition upgrade for unlimited clusters and collaboration features. Upgrade now. For some reason, you might not see this because you might be on the machine learning part also. This is what I figured just now that in the machine learning part, it's not shown here. But if I go to the data science and engineering part, it is shown here. It might be just for me or it might be for you also. But just information here that if you don't see, go to this data science and engineering tab. Now, what we need to do is just click this upgrade now. If I click this upgrade now, it will take me to the new page and ask you to sign in to continue to Databricks. I have provided my email address. So the email address is same as what I have in my community edition. So I will do continue and you need to provide the password and sign in. Once I am signed in, so here is the part, you need to select the subscription plan. But if you notice here, there is your 14 day free trial starts when you click continue. This is the continue icon. Thereafter, you will be charged at the least rates. If you want to know the rates, go just go there before. And here you will see the rates. If you scroll a little bit down, there is this calculate price. You can go here and see what are the different prices in different platforms. From here, you can just see. So I'm not going to go through there. But you can go with the standard ones if you don't want to use uh, the Databricks SQL or auto scaling a role based SS control. But I am going to show you some of the functionalities of Databricks SQL also. So I'm just creating this account for this demonstration purposes and to create the tutorials. But I'm going to go with the premium one. I'm not going to go with the enterprise, of course, obvious reason. It's by default selected the most popular one. But yeah, I'm going with this one. Just to show you that you can go with this one also if you don't want to use other things. But if you want to follow what I will be presenting, you can go with this one also. So I will say the continue here. If I click the continue, then it will go to the next page. Let's see where it takes us. So it says here Databricks work spaces are where teams solve the thoughts data problem. There is the account. 
okay this is the concept how databricks works like there is an account you can create different workspaces out of it there are different tools and then that's how it works i can say get started here okay it says here to proceed please confirm you have the following aws account the password you use to set up your databricks account and a friendly name for your workspace as i said you before also you need to have the aws account now i will say confirm so it is asking me okay workspace name i can just give data science and maybe let's say basics this is you can just give whatever you want okay for the aws region part it says oregon us west to by default you can choose the one which is closer to you i'm going to go with the ireland so eu west one so you can choose whichever you want and it says here start quick start i will click this one it says here after clicking start quick start follow the steps on aws to create a stack then return on this tab just to show you that I have already logged into the AWS. So you need to be logged in in another tab. So it's easier for you. So now I will click this start quick start. It is taking to the AWS. As I said to you, I'm already logged in. So it shows me directly this one. So it says stack name, Databricks workspace stack. This is the default name provided. I will not change it anything for now. And parameters, Databricks account ID. It is shown here and it says here databricks account type trial and this is the email address databricks account password you need to provide the password that you use when you create the account so i will just provide the password okay so i have provided the password there and it says here workspace configurations ds basics that's what i have given and here it says capabilities the following resources requires capabilities iam role and i acknowledge that aws cloud formation might create iam resources with the custom names and if I go here, it says create chain set or create stack. I'm going to click this create stack. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I will say never. Okay, it is in progress. So it is going to take some time in order to create this stack in cloud formation. What it is doing here is creating or let's say that it's connecting your Databricks account with the AWS account that you want to use. So it will take some time to create the stack. You can refresh this page. So it says here some of the things are already completed. So it is taking some time. I will get back to you once this is done. Okay, it took around two to three minutes in order to complete the task. Although it is saying here some of the things are create in progress. The main thing here, it says create complete. So now what we can do is as it was suggested before also, we need to go back to the account console. When I go to the account console, okay, this is what it is shown here now. It says here create workspace. But if you remember, we already created the workspace. Right? Now, if you go to your email address, so I will show you what I get here. It says your Databricks, your Databricks workspace is ready. And here is the workspace URL. We don't need to again create the workspace as it is mentioned here because we already created that workspace. So if I go to this and if I click this one now, it will be our workspace now and sign in to Databricks. You can just use the email address and password that you used before. So this is now our new upgraded version of Databricks. So it says here get started with Databricks. So yeah, this is how you upgrade from your community edition. If I show you before, this is the community edition. Just to show you the difference, as you can see here on the left side, it is simple. And if we go to the new one, this is the new upgraded. Next video, what I will do is just navigate you through the UI a little bit and then create the cluster. Because now when we create the cluster, we are not restricted in just the one that is being provided by Databricks in the free community edition. Okay, let's not make this video too long. But in the next one, I will show you the UI briefly and help you create the cluster. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.